One of our goals at Circuit Board Medics is to simplify the removal of the circuit boards we service. We are removing the instrument cluster from a 2007 Chevrolet Suburban in this video. The common failure for these clusters are a dim or completely darkened odometer or gear indicator. The removal process is similar for many 2007 to 2013 GM vehicles. This video is for informational purposes only. Circuit Board Medics is not responsible for any damage incurred while removing the items from your vehicle. The tools used to remove the instrument cluster from your vehicle are two plastic spudgers or pry tools, a Phillips head screwdriver, a nut driver, a socket wrench, a 5mm socket, and a 9 32nds or 7mm socket. We will now show you how to remove the instrument cluster from the vehicle. The first step is to remove the negative terminal of the battery. An 8mm socket is used to remove the terminal. The battery will remain disconnected throughout the remainder of the removal process. Next, you're going to shift the transmission out of park. So start by engaging the parking brake using the foot lever. Place the key into the ignition and turn it to the on position. Depress your regular brake and shift your gear selector all the way to its lowest position. Then move your steering wheel to the lowest position as well. This will allow better access to the cluster. You are now going to remove the trim piece and left vent. The vent has three clips holding it in, two on the vent and one on the trim piece. You will need to use your plastic spudgers or pry tools to wedge the vent clips loose. Take your time making sure not to scratch the dash. Once the vent is loose, apply outward pressure to release the last clip. Next, you need to loosen the trim piece to the right of the cluster. There are three clips that need to be loosened to gain access to a screw behind the trim. Start by prying up the trim piece with your hands. You may be able to continue to loosen the trim with outward pressure. If not, you can use your plastic spudger to release the two clips on the top of the vents. Once both vents are loose, you should have enough room to remove the screw behind the trim piece. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws that were hidden behind the trim pieces and two additional screws at the top. Now that the four screws are removed, you can pull out the plastic covering for the instrument cluster. There is another plastic covering for the cluster that has four clips to release. This is the most difficult piece to remove due to the placement and tightness of the clips. You will need to apply a significant amount of outward pressure to release these clips. Wedge your fingers behind this covering and pull towards you at each point. Start with the top clips, then move to the bottom.
four screws secure the cluster in place, one at each corner. Using the 932nds or 7mm socket and your nut driver, remove each of the screws. Be careful not to drop the screws into the dash when they come out. Pull the instrument cluster out from the dash and turn it so you can reach the harness in the rear. Be careful not to scratch your lens while pulling the cluster out. Press the tab to release the clip and unplug the harness. You may have to wiggle the plug back and forth to remove it. You are now ready to send your cluster to Circuit Board Medics to repair your dim or completely dark odometer or gear indicator. Please call us at 1-800-547-2049 or visit www.circuitboardmedics.com to place your order or ask any questions.